I was muted. Yeah. All right. Good. Audio. Get those audio issues out of the way early. That's that's the best way to approach this. All right. I'm comfy. I got my I got my chalky milk. I got my got my munch. I got my chalky milk. Uh, a couple things have changed since I last played. So I went ahead. I did it. Turned in a couple of those requests. Turns out some of them are very funny. Like if you get the do the Starly one. So this woman wants you to go over and first she wants you to finish the Pokedex entry for Starly or Starly. So you do it. And then you go hand it back in and she's like, you know what? I just, I really want to see one. So you show it to her and she freaks out. She's like, dear God, no, I don't want to. What did you, what are you doing? This thing will kill me. <laughs> it's, it's great. I love it. So I'm going to go finish up a couple of requests. Go advance the story a bit, and then it's time to hunt for giant bee barrels because one giant bee barrel is not enough. Oh yeah, I also let's see what else have I caught. I think I had Stanler before, so this is the squad right now. I found Paris and giant Parasex. I got the Star Avia, Bulava. I found Psyduck and uh, the Child Kidnapper. So this is this is the squad at the moment. I love all of them. They are my children. If you um, if you say anything mean about any of them, I will cry. So just, just getting that out of the way. Look how cute they are. Look at the look at the Psyduck. Oh, time to become a barrel. A bee barrel. Columb barrel is actually um Columb barrel is currently on the ranch. Columb barrel is gonna come out eventually. But I need to get more alpha Columb barrels. Alright, so let's see. There's supposed to be you go to Drifloom in the eve like to Prelude Beach in the evening. And you're supposed to be able to find, like, a Drifloom playing with kids. And that's one of the missions you have to take on. All right, and I guess I, this is night, not evening. So, let's, uh, oh, a new request, huh? Well, I'm curious. I'm gonna go find out what that one is. Let's go get that new request, and then advance the story a little bit. And then, uh, yeah. Find giant, uh, giant bee barrels. Well, I found a couple more alphas, some of which I haven't been able to catch. So there's, um, I found Alpha Star Avia, or Star Raptor, I found Alpha Snorlax and it killed me. I found Alpha Parasect and it killed me with Hyper Beam. You know, this game rules, so sometimes Pokemon show up and just beat the crap out of you. <laughs> Alright, ma'am. Oh no, what do you need? What do you, alright, don't say something, was it, was I that scary? Okay. You have a request for me. What is it? Ah, there's a, some kind of... Let's see. I found a couple of berries a couple times once in a while. I hear something clatter. Strange happenings at midnight. Alright. I have to search her house to solve the mystery, so I need to come back at night-night. Wait, isn't it night already? Alright, time to investigate. All right, she got some kind of Pokemon hanging out in her house. I'm going to catch it. I mean, if, well, she invited me into her bedroom and we're both girls. All right, let's solve this mystery real quick. <gasps> I also found Gyarados, speaking of Magikarp. It's just kind of flying around in the background of the area of one of the sections here. All right, what is it? What's the secret thing? Boomst. Boomst. This has got to be it. I swear if it's a Bidoof. Can't draw it back. Crackle, crackle. Oh, it's probably a Pikachu. Got that... Electric mouse energy here. All right, in the back near the closet. Maybe folded uniforms. All right. Oh, it's a Pichu! It's a Pichu! Oh, look at this! Look at this little baby! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it feels it feels appropriate to be a barrel. While I, I'm trying to <laughs> go back trying to catch the the legendary six B barrel team. She nursed this Pichu back to health and it followed her home to give her a berry. Oh, that 
it's so good. Cool beans. All right, I got a berry. Awesome. Love it when people just give me things. All right. That's adorable. She helps out a Pichu, but of course, it could definitely kill her, and she's probably terrified of. And it's just like, hey, I want to give you this berry. I found this berry. It's, uh, it's pretty sick. You want it? Yeah, I gave this guy a Wurmple. He wanted to know if Wurmple can evolve. I, I gave him one. He seemed pretty chill with it. Uh, traumatized a woman by definitely... Th <laughs> oh, you found Alpha, uh, Alpha Parasect? Will fuck you up. The fucker knows Hyper Beam! Why does that fucker know Hyper Beam? <laughs> I've caught it. Like, I have caught it, but I've been every now and then running over and trying to catch more of them. And for whatever reason, one of them just fucking knew Hyper Beam! It just, like, messed up my whole team. Like, it was really funny! Of course, that's the one I couldn't catch. It killed all my Pokémon, and I felt very bad about it. Alright. I got a star! Alright, now I'm a three-star. I'm a three-star general. I found the, the Alpha Snorlax, too, that everyone's memeing about. Oh, I can use Great Balls! Oh, I have that problem with a, a couple of mine right now. I've got a... Uh, oh, great, but I can probably catch some better Pokemon with those. Yeah, the issue I'm having... Like, there's a couple Pokemon I caught that just will not listen to me. Like, um... There's an Alpha Rapidash that you can catch in the starter area. And I don't know I, how I did it, but I caught this level 40 thing, and it just, like, will not listen to me. And every time I let it out of its Pokeball, it tries to kill me. Oh yeah! I got- I have several Geodudes. Okay. Yeah. Where did you go? I have like- I have way too many Geodudes. This game is so much fun though. Like, um, I wanted to save story progress and everything for stream, so I was just running around and like catching a bunch of different Pokémon, and I just had so much fun doing it. Has requested something for us to do with Zubat. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary. Alright. Cool beans. Let's see. Not with you. Where did she go? He asked me for a Geodude and then left. Why would you do this to me? I have several Geodudes for you. Like, I don't like them, I just kept catching them. Because they were easy to beat up. Let's- I'll just be honest about it. Alright, let's see. Uh, missions and requests. No, requests. Zubat's eyes, let's see. Oh, because she's back out there. Alright, whatever. I'm going to the story. Here's- here's the diamond in the Pearl Tribes. I love their designs. Like, everything about this game is just so much fun. What do you tend to do about Cleavor? Oh, I also found Scythers. He may be descended from a warrior of almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. Ah, uh, Cleavor. Going around causing problems. It's a Lord of the Pearl Clan. Oh, that's interesting. Like, it's kind of cool to see how... Pokemon have, like, a religious connotation in this game. Because, like, they're not integrated into, into the world. They don't really coexist. People are fucking afraid of them. Like, imagine if you were just, like, on a nature walk and Scyther started chasing you around. Like, you'd be spooked. If Bidoof just came up and was like, Bidoof, you'd probably be like, wow, this is my best friend. I will literally die for them. Alright, so Cleavor is in a violent frenzy. Something tells me I'm gonna have to solve this. With me and my Bidoof mask. My, me and my 6B barrels are gonna figure this out! Yeah, I came from a space-time rift, and everyone's just like really chill with it.
Why not send this one to study, Cleavor? Alright, so I guess I'm being, like, shipped out to go find what this murderous, rampaging Pokemon... No, I haven't fought Cleavor yet. I fought the, uh, the first Alpha, and then I basically stopped the stream on Saturday, and I've just been running around and exploring since then. I, I will accept. I will do it. Um, I really had a lot of fun exploring. Well, I had a lot of fun exploring and managed to finish up a lot of Pokedex entries just by catching stuff. So, uh, ah! I mean, you get a bunch of stars, getting alphas, capturing alphas gets you a lot of stars, just capturing a bunch of Pokemon. Basically. So I would just like run around and like, I would run through that starter area and just throw a bunch of Pokeballs and stuff. I caught a couple of cool alphas, like the Rapidash and everything, and that just got me a bunch of stars pretty quickly. I need to find out the cause of Cleavor. Alright, so it's invincible. Alright. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleavor, but they attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. So basically, I need to go battle it? Is that what's happening here? No, I don't think I can handle this. Look, you guys are asking me to do this, but you're just saying, hey, this thing's gonna kill ya if you come near it. It's like, oh yeah. Okay, what do you want? Oh shit, it's my with the the sick deer leggings. Let's see. That means you get I <laughs> Oh no, I've become a religious figure. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, love love to become a god. Look, look I, I'm now a religious figure. Look, I, yes, I am part- I am touched by the almighty Sinnoh. I just, like, came from the sky, and I'm very normal. Like, yeah, this is very hard of the woods. He's- alright, so let's see. Leon is a brilliant child, but also, well, alright, let's see. So he's a kid, he's a, he's a Cleavor stan. He wants to tell me all about Cleavor. Alright, I can do that. I will listen to this kid talk about his favorite Pokemon. Find your way to Grand Tree Arena to speak with Leon and get information about Cleavor. That's true! My satchel is always full! Are you gonna give me more item slots? Just please teach me. That's like negative money. Please just teach me. Yay! Yeah, keep teaching me. Keep please. I'll give you like all the all the all the money in the world. All the money at least that I have. I've made so much money just catching up whole mess of Pokemon. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Teaching me how to be organized. Thank you. What? You went up in hundreds and now you're going up by five hundreds? I'm getting fleeced. All right, I've learned the secret, the secret packing arts. That should be enough for now. What a weird dude. Just shows up, hey, kid, if you give me money, I'll teach you how to organize stuff. You seem like a kind of person that might have some 
issues with organization. Like, wow, what gave that away? Uh, let's see. See, I need to go to the zoo, or I need to go to the beach in the evening. And if I do that, I can complete the Drifloon thing. But in the meantime, let me go give this woman the Geodude. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Uh, you wanted the Geodude, right? I have like a bajillion of these things. Here you go. Here's a Geodude for you. You really just wanted a rock to sit on the top of your pickling jar. So, that's kind of fucked up, actually. So that Geodude's purpose in life now is to sit on top of that jar. Honestly, that's a pretty good deal. I think she wanted the Geodude to be able to, like, float itself on top of the jar. Which I guess now she's done. Let's see. I do enjoy crafting. I do and do. Alright, what's the recipe? And why are you being so intense? Oh, I have- I got wood. I can do that. Oh, that's what you do with these, huh? Hell yeah, I got, I got, I got so, such good curves. My attentive carving and these colors, you've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these shoes must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. It's just called Kokeshi Pokemon in Italian. Oh, that's right, you're playing the game in Italian. Ah! I'm a plebe that can really only speak one language. I think basically, uh, the fact that you can speak more than- speak and read more than one language makes you basically superhuman, in my opinion. Alright. Let's see, important things to do here. Yeah, this is <laughs> nerding out over the handgun. Yeah, I guess it is. All right. Uh, who am I taking? Who do I want to take? Let's see. I got my Cricketunes. I got my Stantlers. I got my Parasect. I got my Scythers. Who do I want to bring? Maybe... Maybe I'll leave Psyduck. And I will swap Psyduck out for... Where are you? Let's see if Rapidash will actually listen to me now. Cool beans. I have a giant fire horse now. That is sick. I love you! Yes! Yay! I love alphas. They're so stupidly big. That's <laughs> so funny! <laughs> oh, it's the hot guy! I hope you're putting your back. You're, you're they're using my secret backstrike technique. Remember the the the, po the basics of CQC. By the way, my great 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 granddaughter is gonna be really excellent. You're gonna like her a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna go hang out in some ruins. You know, as as people are wont to do. All right. I got some important stuff to do. Got my giant pony. There are... Oh no. I'm beset upon on all sides by Drifloons. Let's see, where is it again? Oh yeah, it's down here. I 
think let's let's make some great balls. Now that I have the recipe. Wait, can I not make these? Oh, because I deposited all my iron. No. I was a fool. Oh well, I should be able to catch it still. If I'm smart about it. God damn it, Drifloon. I'm trying to work here. You did not select hard mode. Gotcha! Thank you for the raid, Nana. Oh, yo, I caught it right away? I'm so good at this game. I'm, I'm just incredible. Look at my giant horse. Love this giant horse. Unnecessarily large, huge horse. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I also love that Paris is a super aggressive Pokemon in this game. He's walking into this area and all these little Parises are like, Yo, get him! Alright. Now for the, uh, the true trial. The most important thing. If you go down here... I honestly gave up on trying to catch the Snorlax. I I'll come back to it eventually, but like... That thing is spooky. All right, there we go. Uh, caught Krikatoon. Here we go. This is the most important place I could possibly be. I found I, I found Abra on the map. I want to catch one, but they're also right next to that elf. Oh, they're actually over here, aren't they? No, Bee Barrel first. Eye on the prize. Alpha Bee Barrel. My child. Go up here. Now I can make a great ball. I'm gonna catch this thing. Got a get a berry. Get a berry. Get a berry. Get a berry. Okay, there's a berry. Come on, just 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 go to the berry. Ignore me. Ignore me. I'm not doing anything. But yeah, it has it, for whatever reason. It's so goofy. Like they, like I know the whole shtick is supposed to be alpha Pokemon can know different moves than everything else in their species. But like Alpha B Barrel hitting you with icy wind is really goofy. Got his ass, literally. Hell yeah! All right. Now I have four Alpha B Barrels. <laughs> I'm getting close to my dream. And I'm going to go get some iron, and then I'm going to go see if I can catch an Abra. Now that I know where they are. What's good, Bidoof? I love these things. I love, it. I love these little chonkers! They're just so cute! <laughs> if you can't tell, yeah, I've caught a lot of Bidoofs. I just run around catching them. I just love them. I think they're adorable. If there's any Pokemon in this game that just deserves happiness and to be cared for and pampered, it's Bidoof and Bee Barrel. They're just happy little lads. Alright, yeah, this is where the Alpha Krikatoon lives. Thankfully, it, if you get the backstrike on it, uh, the Alpha is going to become Colum I, I already So I already caught a couple of these. I already have, like, one, and its name is, uh, Lieutenant CB's wife. The elf is Columbo's wife. That- that feels appropriate to me. Alright, I'm assuming I caught that guy? Yeah. Alright, Alpha Cricketoon, caught. Now, this is where I think the Abras live. So, let's see. I mean, Beedoof is so good! I mean, I, I never truly appreciated Bidoof until this game, but I realized that Bidoof just kind of rules. Like, they just vibe. 
It's just a Pokemon that is basically made of vibes, and I love it. All right. Let's see. Windswept Run. There's a couple things I want to grab here. <gasps> a startled Geodude. Oh, no. This actually might be bad. Um, yeah, like, nothing is going to work here. Uh, okay. Swap out. Swap out. Uh, Paris. Paris can do this. Get him! Get him, my little mushroom boy! Dang. Poor Geodude just got, like, extremely got. Alright, let's see. If I remember... There's Bazille. I know I saw some Abras around here. Maybe that's a time thing. This fucker, though. It didn't just suck it out, uh, out its soul, it consumed it and became stronger. Alright. Where's my Great Ball? Yeah, I, I've given this thing so much food trying to catch it. It just does not want to be caught. Oops. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. This thing is actually mad strong. Alright, throw the bananas. It's the bananas that will get it. I want this angry bird. Dear angry bird, please come and be on my team. Be my friend. This time? No! Come on, dude! No! I'm gonna die! Yeah! No! Please! No, and there's an Abra over there! Alright, I have to I have to be very smart about this. Okay. Try to remember the basics of CQC. I need to sneak up on Abra. Alright. It's never gonna know what hit it. I got your ass. Maybe I don't got your ass? Oh no, I got this one's ass. Hey, I got it. I'm hoping, please. Yeah! I got your ass. Awesome! I remembered the basics of CQC. Oh my god, Rapidash, you're bigger than the tree! <laughs> you're bigger than the tree! <laughs> Out of Pokemon Megafauna is the best thing they could have possibly added to this game! Look <laughs> at my horse! My horse is so big! <laughs> oh. And yet I can't ride it. Alright, let's see. Am I going to be able to... I'm going to give this a couple more shots. I picked up a little bit of iron. Let's craft some of these. Awesome! You got the Storlax! Congratulations! I'm probably gonna go back and try to get that at some point. Alright. I'm gonna throw the honey cake. No bird can, re can resist the honey cake. And then I'm gonna get your ass. Got your ass! Didn't even need the cake. I hate this bird so fucking much. This fucking bird. You're gonna you're gonna get caught eventually. Or I'm gonna die. Alright. Um I'm sick of you. Uh go rapid dash. <laughs> No fire blast! Alright, okay, fine. I love that my Rapidash also knows hypnosis for some reason. It's like, that's a thing that it has. That's fine. Oh, it knows hyper beam! 
dead bugs. <laughs> I love my horse. Well, I kind of fucked that one up. That's just the thing all horses know how to do. All horses can do that. <laughs> Big. Big. Oh. No, come back. I would have liked to have caught you, but it's fine. That's chill. Just a very normal thing. I never really looked at its move list. I didn't realize it knew Hyper Beam. Alright. Rapidash, go collect ore for me. Rapidash, obliterate this tiny bug! <laughs> I can't be stopped. I've got mad power. <laughs> Grind my enemies into dust. All right, I'm gonna... My guy, are you trying to fight me? Oh no, you just want to be friends. Oh no! I wanted to... <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. I'm just going to run away. Even I have limits. That's that's that is unnecessarily cruel. B Barrel's trying to fight me. B Barrel, no! Don't make me kill you. All right. Uh, let's let's go let's go do the story thing. Then I'll come back, and I will keep farming for my, my perfect 6B barrel team. I cannot get over how goofy this horse is. <laughs> I wonder what the other, like, already big species alphas are going to look like. Because I'm guessing there's also, like, there's going to be alpha Garchomp and stuff, right? It's gonna be bigger than a building. You know, just, just like some Pokemon are. Big horse. And... Oh, a Scyther! Oh, I'm be I am under attack. By who? Psyduck! Um... Please leave me be. I don't want any trouble. I'm sorry, Mr. Duck. My horse and I will leave. Alright. Where is this kid to teach me what I need to do here? Where is this nerd? I bet this nerd doesn't even have a giant horse. A giant horse that loves him? Ah, uh, this kid looks like he should have a giant horse. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm here to meet Cleavor. Alright, let's see. The powerful, awesome Cleavor has become even more powerful because it was struck by lightning. Let's see. It's too dangerous. Uh, let's see. No, I'll do everything. I'm already <laughs> racked with migraines. It's too late for me, but maybe, just maybe, maybe you can do it. All right, come on. I, I have a, I'm pretty confident that my giant horse can fuck this thing up. Oh! Ooh! Oh. Oh, this poor child. Really? Really, kid. Kid. Do you see what's about to happen? I'm gonna teach you a lesson. <laughs> the 
let's see how you like my goo. Kid. <laughs> You're gonna get obliterated by this Rapidash. It's too dangerous to fight Cleavor. Let's see. So how do I do this? Oh, let's see. So I need to get him his favorite, like, get Cleavor its favorite foods, and that's gonna get it to calm down. Her outfit is so good. I know all the outfits in this game are really good. Hers is just like, her is and my, I think, are my two favorites. Also love that there's a religious conflict that, at the root of Diamond and Pearl. Yes, I can fix this. Yeah, but, but honestly, you know, kid, I don't know if I can solve this problem. Let's see. Every corner of the va of the vast Hisui. To make it find a proper uh, Oh shit! God is calling me. I mean now and easily return to base camps in an instant. Oh cool. I already had that. Uh, let's see. All right, I guess I can fast travel now. All right, dude. What you got for me? <laughs> Arceus installed Uber on my phone. <laughs> thank, thank you for unlocking apps, Arceus. That's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of good uh, got a lot of money right there. That's a lot of zenny. Let's see. So I've got Parasec. Rapidash is not done. What do I need to even do with with Rapidash? Times you've seen it use Fire Blast. Times you've seen it use a strong style move. So basically, as long as I just keep <clears throat> having Rapidash heck people up. Alright, so what do we do here? What's we can't just go in and, and we can't just door dash food to Cleavor. But what are we gonna do? We're gonna read books. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Eureka! My dude, that's what you came up to? That's what you got? It's like, what What if you just throw things? What if you just throw... Cleavor's favorite food at it? Really? This is what he came up with? We're gonna take its favorite food and put it in a Pokeball and throw it at it. That's what we're gonna do. All right, dude. That's that's fine. I'm not even gonna judge you too much for that. But I am gonna judge you a lot. I mean, look, we need. I need an even bigger horse. This horse is not mega fauna enough. I need a bigger rapidash. Oh, that would be so sick, though. It was fossil Pokemon in the wild. Then and the oh the actual normal of the fucked up ones what they put together wrong that would be really good. All right, so what's the deal, Mai? Are you gonna tell me that I'm super cool and you want to date me? Because oh, the deer. He spoke to the weird deer about what's going on. Oh. Oh. 
Do, wait, do I get to ride the deer? I get to play a flute like like the <laughs> like the White Ranger. <laughs> deer Zord, go! I get to ride the weird deer. I, I might I might borrow that, the queer deer. That's a good one. I love this thing. I love this grumpy old man looking deer. All right, I learned how to play the recorder. I'm the greatest Pokemon trainer. Weird deer opened its heart to me. Wait, what? Uh, I mean, it allows the opponent to gain the power of the psychic type. Huh. Will that let me evolve my Stantler into Weird Deer? I can, I can summon a Pokemon and ride them? This is the best game. Oh! I'm so happy! Yeah, <laughs> Weird... If the, if they just become the queer deer. Yes, I do have. All right, wait. You want me to? All right. Let's see. Okay, fine. I'll I'll do the weird balloon race thing. I guess like if only because it lets me ride my deer. Are right, there are thirty balloons? You need to get uh, forty five seconds to get seventeen of them. Oh, they're all weird drifloons. I love this. I wonder if I get. Oh, there is a dash. Gotta get it. This literally is Breath of the Wild. This is, I guess, as much of a Breath of the Wild as I'll ever play because I just still haven't played that game because it never goes on sale. And we're good. I love this. Yeah, one day, one day I will play Breath of the Wild when it goes on sale, which is basically never because it's a, a first party Nintendo game. Oh, cool. Thank you for these 10 Pokeballs. My dude. Oh, a Feather Ball. I, I want, I do, gen I'm being shitty about it, but I do genuinely want to. I'm... Especially playing this game is really getting me the, in that mood to want to, to really want to sit down and play Breath of the Wild. I'm sure, like, it, I'm sure my partner wants to play it too. So if she wants to play it, I'll probably grab a copy for us. Alright, let's, uh... Let's just go catch Para... Eh, I don't need more, more Parasex. Oh, you can die. You can die if you fall too far from, from the weird deer. Also, hello, Icy. I hope you're doing well. All right. I'm already back here? Oh, that's sick. All right. All right. This will be the fifth B barrel. Then I only need one more bee barrel, and I can have the perfect team of six bee ba a giant bee barrels. What do you think? That doesn't work. All right. I'm I am surprised by that one, but okay. Let's see. Feather ball. Uh, flies fast and true. That's cool, but I'm just gonna craft a bunch of great balls. All right. B barrel, ignore me. Ignore me, B barrel. Oh, that's a that's a chonky lad right there. Look at this. Look at this absolute unit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, and this is a lot of this is this is wonderful. I love the like. There's like some pretty genuine schmovement here. This is actually a lot. Like, 
just really satisfying. I get to ride around on this weird deer, hopping, hopping over ravines and stuff. Occasionally stopping to catch Scyther because they're also very cool. You see, I had blue version as a kid, which means I didn't get to have Scyther. I was forced to have, was it Pinsir was the other version? Which is fine, but Scyther is way cooler. All right, kid. What do, you, what do you need from me? Tell me what I have to do to go kill your god. It's so much cooler, and then... There's Mega Pinsir, but yeah, they never... Scyther, Scyther has two evolutions now, and Pinsir has never gotten one. Your galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. We are literally going to take its uh, the offering and throw it at it instead, because it's too dangerous to get close. My dude, we are not that smart. This is a very low effort solution. <laughs> Pinsir is absolutely the Scyther that we have at home. But, what was it in um, Gold and Silver? Isn't that when they introduced Heracross? Like the true, the true bug, bug buddy? Do, do love me that hair across. All right, let's see. If you give me Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleavor's fate. Okay, fine. I will heck. All right. Look, I'm gonna show show you what I did to that poor kid's little goo boy. All right. <gasps> Strong style. Oh, Paris. Rip. No, I'll, I'll be nice. She gets cool lava. She doesn't get Rapidash. The Rapidash that I probably shouldn't have at this point in the game. Love that there's just a level 40 alpha Pokemon that you can catch at the very start of the game. Yes, I do treat them as partners. I mean, I, I have Rapidash, it's just like, it's just very funny to me, and it feels like a sequence break. Like, I shouldn't have a level 40 Pokémon at this point, but I do. Oh, that's a good way to put it. You've developed a soothing balm in the form of a Pokéball. Yeah, that's a smart way of putting, I'm going to throw food at Cleavor until it lets me fight it. All right, let's go. Yeah. We made a trash can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so um, dialing it back, I know Reyna mentioned like the religious war. So there's the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan, and they both believe that they worship the true Sinnoh. The, the true god, which I'm assuming is, um, what is it? It's Dialga and the other one. So they each have their, their god Pokemon, and they assume that the other ones are worshipping a false god. So there's some like, actual genuine religious tension between these tribes. Polika, that's it. Yo! Yo! This Pokemon is sick! It's a Dark Souls intro? Cool! Alright, battling- oh, it's a Pokemon Noble? Oh, that's really cool. To claim victory getting quell its frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy reaches zero. So I have to create openings by sending out Pokemon to battle with it. All the while dodging it's oh this is actually really sick wait go rapidash 
Show Cleaver your power? Oh, okay. <laughs> Strong style fire blast. Let's go it. Let's go. This is a really cool remix, too. Alright, throw like a bajillion bombs. Let's go. I can be do it. I'm gonna be do it. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Go Kalaba. I feel like I might be a little bit overleveled for this part of the game. Oops. Oh no. Y you can do it. Oh, oh no. No, you can't. <laughs> Sorry, Kulava. Um. I'm gonna try to throw not rapid ash Pokemon at it and see what happens. Um... Maybe Aerial Ace? It's a bug, right? Ah, dang. There's bad things happening to everyone right now. Alright. The deer can do it. The deer can obviously figure this out. There we go. It's, I guess, new in this game. Because, yeah, Stealth Rock was never an attack like that. And not only is it an attack, it's a strong attack. Okay. No, you'll be- you're gonna be fine, Stantler. You're gonna- you're gonna survive. I believe in ya. Just keep- just keep bashing. Um, oh no. You're- you're good. You're good. You're good, my guy. Oh no. No! Max did part with the splinter! Drifloon. Drifloon's got this. Oh, let's see. What's gonna work here? Confusion. Right? Okay, yeah, that worked. That's fine. We take those. I beat it. it. It is interesting that you can approach this so many different ways. Like I could see myself playing this and doing exactly that and just saying like, look, I can't fight it with my Pokemon. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw bombs at it. It's kind of like how this game really rewards stealth in a lot of ways. Oh, I got the insect plate! What? Wait, what? How did you imbue, imbue that with the power of bugs? It shows up, hands you a, a, a bug rock, explains nothing, leaves. <laughs> 
Does this confirm that the lightning, like, does that confirm the, that the lightning was like, no, I, why are you asking me? I don't know. But wait, that's for, oh, those are for Genesect? What the hell is Genesect doing? Isn't that a robot? Exactly, like, why are you asking me about- Why are you asking me about the weather? I don't understand. Look, God just, like, took my phone, then became my phone, and said, Hey, we're sending you back to the Sengoku <laughs> era. Alright, thank you for the berry. Ah, so they're for Arceus. So gradually I'm building up the stuff that I need to make Arceus. Oh, yo, what? Word? All right. Golbat loves berries, right? Everyone knows that the bat loves berries. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch this guy though. Oh, you're mine. You're mine. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what we like to see right there. One and done, real quick, like. And now I got. Now I have a gold bat. Okay, these are all low punnies. So I guess eventually I'll have Arceus, and then Arceus will be God and my phone and my best friend. Oh, it's back! Okay. Serious time. This is my sixth Alpha B barrel. If I get it, I get to have my sixth Alpha B barrel team. All these giant beavers. Um, no. Go eat. <laughs> That's way more important than anything I got going on. sleep. Get this bee barrel to take a nap and then give it a, a good bash. My god. Santler, please. All right, perfect. Please survive one more attack. Awesome. Okay. Perfect position. Oh, it fought off its drowsiness. That sucks. Alright. Good thing I have Drifloon. Come on. Just, just falls. Come on, dude! Just take a nap! Stop attacking me! <laughs> Finally! Alright. Sick. Oh! I got a Seed of Mastery! I wonder what that does. Now that I can move around so quickly, that makes everything so much easier. Alright, 
They haven't seen me yet. Alright, one has seen me. Oh well. Yes, I am be barreling through all my tasks today. <laughs> That was a bee bummer. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, yeah. It the switch like my switch will let me always capture all those notifications. Oh, I know where this is. This just looped me around. Okay. We are back. It's finally time. It's finally time for my dream. You know, they called me mad. They said it was ridiculous. They said no one would ever want a team of six B barrels. But I proved them wrong. I fought long. I fought hard. And now I have the perfect team, absolutely flawless, gonna win every tournament, every event, every everything. I'm a Pokemon master. All right, gotta have Columbarrel too. This is great. This is wonderful. They're just all friends. <laughs> look at them. Just look at them. Look at my family. A family could just be a time traveler and six B barrels. Long barrel and his giant wives. Columbarrel, his six wives, and this one weird deer. Yep, this is it. We're ready to take on the world. And one tiny Columbo barrel. All right. Yes, I caught six Pokemon. Yes, they're mostly Alpha B barrels. But I did catch a, did catch a Golbat in there. That's new. I'm close to level four. Won't be much longer before everyone has to listen to me and I'm the greatest Pokemon trainer of all time. Now just tell, like, when do I unlock the, the Bolo haircut? When do I unlock that? When do I unlock it? Oh! <laughs> <gasps> Two of the fabled plates of old! How did you come across these? Well, I threw a bunch of tea bags at a big bug and it gave me one of them. Yeah, a deer liked me and then I threw a bunch of snacks, a fruit snacks at Cleavor until it was like, hey, here's a here's a here's a plate. I'm leaving. Bye. Oh no, I can't I can't fl uh ah, alright. It's I think this counts as evening. Let's see if I can go over to the the beach. And s let's see, go to the beach and see if Drifloon actually plays with kids. Oh, come on, this counts as evening. It's Prelude Beach! There's some kind of Pokemon around here. It's B Barrel! <laughs> I'm I'm so happy with my, my Alpha B Barrel team.
Oh, it could be in the cabin. That's smart. That is smart, and I am not. Columb Barrel would solve it, though. All right, Columb Barrel on the case. Let's go. I love you. I love you, Columb Barrel. All right, Columb Barrel, let's check it out. Oh, you can't... Oh, oh! Behind the cabin. Oh, that's horrifying. Driftloon won't let me leave. Can you please... Uh, can do. Driftloon, please let the child go. Oh. So he really was just playing with Drifloon. That's really cute. All right, let's see. Uh, I can, yeah, I can fast travel here. Fast travel to the farm. And let's see. I solved the equation. Yes, it turns out that Drifloon does hang out with kids. They're all really funny. I was talking about one when I started the stream. So I did one with Starly, where a woman comes up and she's like, I want to know more about these little bird Pokemon. So you finish the Pokedex entry. You tell her about them. And she's like, wow, these seem really cute. I want to see one. And when you let it out of its Pokeball, she panics and runs away because she's still terrified of this thing. The Mysterious Red Will-O-Wisp. Oh, I'm excited. Pseudo Widow is such a fun and goofy Pokemon. Alright, time to go tell them that I beat up Cleavor. It was almost too easy. Let's see. There are no other requests. All right, so somebody wants me to investigate a weird Ponyta. I mean, basically. All right, I guess I have to fight this guy again. Well done. I already have received the reports of your exploits. You successful quell you successfully quelled Cleveland's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to his serious people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell under the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I have received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere. In Hisui. So carry on with your research and survey duties and pro prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the wall power. Go join them. Go to the bar, kid. You, jo you, you earned a drink. You were in some potato mochi and maybe a beer for throwing for throwing cookies at a murderous murder bug. What this guy doesn't know is that you're from the future where Cleavor doesn't exist anymore. Of course, Wook Bombs. Now you don't need to worry about being mauled by Cleavor. <laughs> you can be worried, get worried about being mauled by other Pokemon instead. <gasps> Chi a child. Kid, I'm trying to go to sleep. Leave me be. <gasps> a Bidoof. Is that what you need from me? Okay, he's squeezing a lot of danger. Can Bidu help it? <laughs> the seal is broken. It's like, it's kind of sad. It means that Weird Deer goes extinct for some reason. Like, Stantler has just stopped evolving. <laughs> Kid, I don't believe you. You're heckin' with me. 
And I don't appreciate being hacked with. Oh, okay, fine. What is with people in this game and giving me rocks? Ah, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Let's see. Okay, so, all right. I got to catch all these wisps, I guess? In the keystone? Oh, wait. I'm going to go. Where are you? Oh, I got your ass. I got your ass. Okay, that's weird. Why did this kid need me to do this? Why didn't... Why didn't you just do this yourself? Okay, fine. I gotta... Uh, now the, this kid's giving me some spooky instructions. Which means I need... That's... There was the red one that someone needed me to catch. Yes! Yes! New haircuts! Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm famous. You can tell by my Bidoof mask. How do you feel about Bidoof? That's fun. People are afraid of me now. My special skill is giving haircuts! Yes, I need you! All right, gotta solve this immediately. Nothing is more important than fashion. Wait, is this, are these all of, are these all Cynthia's ancestors? I'll take it, dude. Now let's see, all right. What do you need? Oh no! I'm changing fashion trends! <laughs> Can be Cynthia's ancestry has- Ah! Oh. oh no! No! You're discovering binary gender- No! I don't- I don't want to teach you the, about gender binary clothing. That's like the one lesson I don't want you to learn from me. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. Let's see. So I need hardy grains. I'm assuming I have to grow those in the in the farm. Okay, get a score of 10,000 points. I can definitely do that. What do you need? Oh, you need a plant? Okay. A search for bitter leaves. Okay. I'm gonna throw a bunch of gianty barrels around here. Look, I run this place now. I'm taking over the farm! You can't survive! All these be barrels! <laughs> oh, do I have any ground type Pokemon? I think I do. Does Geodude count? Yeah, I'm glad I caught all these Geodudes. I'm just gonna give them away to people. Awesome. Finally, a use for Geodude. And now we can do agriculture. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
So now I can do farming? But who do I talk to to actually do the farming? It's gonna be this guy, right? I'm interested in... How do I grow the... the... The whatchamacallit that the guy needs, the, the grain. Alright, let's go do the target practice one, just to get, knock these all out. Alright, dude, you don't realize it, but I am the greatest shot. I played Apex once. Exactly once. Oh, you can move. Okay, that changes things a lot. tells me that there's a trick to this in terms of scoring. Oh, here we go. Yep. I uh, already got it. Mission accomplished. I am definitely not. I, I, when I say I played Apex once, I mean I threw the game pretty heavily and uh, was mostly the reason that my team would lose. I really enjoy shooting games, but I am so bad at them. I've had so many people try to teach me Counter-Strike over the years and I just cannot figure, like, figure that game out for the life of me. Same thing with stuff like Valorant. Like, that always seemed fun, but like, especially team-based stuff, I feel bad when I when I let my team down. All right, three leaden balls. Let's see an improvement of the heavy heavy ball. Let's see. So basically, it's just like heavy ball plus. All right, cool beans, and some great balls and some nuggets. The one thing, though, whenever I play Apex, I almost always end up playing Pathfinder because I love the grappling hook. I think I should give... maybe I should give Titanfall a chance. Yeah. The thing is, like, whenever I play those games, I tend to end up solo queuing. Because I never want to bug people and ask them to play with me. So I always end up in a situation where I'm always solo queuing in these team games, and it's never a great experience. Alright, so we got one more frenzied Pokemon. Let's see, she's the most narrow minded. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. You I order you to study Ursaluna in the Crimson Mirelands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. That's a bummer. I know that hasn't Titanfall gone through like a whole renaissance here? Where, like, now basically the community had to, like, make their own servers and hack their way into having a server select, like, selection option. And then it's still ripe with hackers? That sucks. All those people putting all that effort into a game they love. And then having hackers come through. All right. All right. Are there any more? Are there any more? Are there any any more? Please give me new haircuts. 
Oh! <gasps> I don't have any new haircuts. No! Alright. What a bummer. It's just like when I get my my haircut in real life. I walk in there and I pay like the better part of a hundred bucks and my hair barely looks different at the end. And every time I come in there and say, you know what? I'm gonna try something different, and then I just don't. Just just trim the ends, please. Alright, this dude, what do you want, dude? Okay, so... What Pokémon do you want? Oh, you want Lopunny! I definitely have the Pokemon you want. Uh, it's somewhere here. I have a couple of them. Here we go, Benary. Oh, that sucks. Wait, I had no idea about that. Oh, that that really sucks. Oh. Man. Well. My enthusiasm for that project just disappeared pretty quickly. That would be excellent. Just having water and grass type Pokemon doing stuff. I mean, it's kind of cool that you get like ground types and you can put like you can catch stuff and put it to work, put them to work in the village. Like, uh, where are they? Yeah, after I did the- so I did that whole mission with the three B-Doofs, now those B-Doofs just hang out. Which... kind of rules? Oh. It's- it feels a little bit... It feels a little bit cursed to say this, but it does feel like Digimon World. Where you go and you do the side quest, you do the mission, and then your reward is that you get to hang out and see the town develop as you pull more Pokemon into it. Oh, uh, let's see, where is my other... So many Bidoofs. Here we go, here's Lieutenant Columbo's wife. Alright, Lieutenant Columbo's wife is going to come with... Let's see, a Scyther is going to come with... Stantler is coming with. I feel obligated. I haven't heard about Digimon Survive until you literally just mentioned it. Alright, I'm gonna take Columbo and Columbo's wife, and then I guess Quilava, because I always feel obligated to have my starter on my team. I guess I got giant parasects too. I could do something with them. Alright, where are you? Where is Quilava? Oh no. Quilava! Oh, there you are. Okay. Found ya. Let's see, so I've got... Scyther? Are we friends, my dude? We are friends. Well, I've known about Cyber Sleuth. I just didn't know that if, if it was actually an in progress, like what was going on with it. I heard that it was good. I just want them all to be. I kind of love Quilava getting into shit with Rapidash. Oh, this game is good. Oh, oh no. 
Oh no, my poor, my poor boy. You don't want this smoke. Oh, you got two Pokemon now. But you're feeling real nice. All right. Let's see how nice you are when you face Columbo's wife. <laughs> you will not survive. Or you will. No! Come on, Barrel Wife! Alright, you may have defeated Columb Barrel's wife. But you'll never defeat Columb Barrel. Your pathetic Pikachu is nothing compared to Columbarrel. All Columbarrel has the power to go to sleep. Oh, that's right. I think I'm, I'm getting close to knowing a team. Once I finally decide on, on what the Ricky Pokemon team will be. There we go. Get out of here, kid. Fear the deer. Pikachu's gonna be angry. I love how he's afraid of his Pokemon. Just terrified of Pikachu. Like, Pikachu's gonna be mad at me. Bad things happen when Pikachu is mad at me. Alright, what's the recipe? Stealth sprays? What? There are space time distortions, but there's a bunch of tough Pokemon in there. What is this kid on? What is he talking about? Space-time distortions? What is happening? Alright, it's time to... Do some, make some mistakes here. I guess they are, but he talks- he just like, drops that casually, like... Yeah, there's some space-time distortions around here. I have to catch more Cricketunes for a quest, so I'm just going to grab a couple of these right real quick. Or Cricket Tots, not Cricket, not Cricketunes. But it's just like... It's him, it's the casualness of just like, oh yeah, you know, there's some space-time distortions that are just like out in the field sometimes. I took a peek in one and I almost died. And he's just like, that's a very normal thing that he says. Oh my god, come on. Alright, go my go my giant rapidash. What? They make black hole- oh, You know, there's something about the way this game kind of reframes a lot of the stuff you read in the Pokedex. It's, it grounds it, and by having it be more open world, it feels more- I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Organic? Like, you forget how big some Pokémon are supposed to be. And then this game reminds you of like, oh yeah, by the way, uh... The barrel is huge. All right, I gotta. I want to catch this boy over here before I move on to a new area. I gotta be sneaky though. I'm gonna get him. 
And when I get him, he's gonna be my best friend. What do you mean? Alright, I'm sick of you. Enjoy this berry. Gotcha. Uh, don't gotcha, I guess. I'm gonna, I need to get that back strike. If I get the back strike, that's gotta be it. Oh no. Uh, getting out of here. I should hold it till I get a green arrow. Do the whole lock on and everything. Alright. Okay. Future best friend, I see you over there. Oh, it's a float cell. Backstrike Leaden Ball? That's gotta be it. Yep. Got me a Floatzel. So there's another gigantic lad that I need to get. two Cricketoons, and that should be it for the Pokedex on this one, and I can hand it in for the mission. Alright, that's all 12 caught. Oh, wait. Yep, that's two more. Alright, cool beans. And go! I'm so happy with this. I get to ride the weird deer! It's a weird deer, and it's my best friend! Yeah, I want to say there's a Pikachu around here. Or a Pichu that hangs out. Nope, guess not. Time to make a mistake. Because the maddest lad lives over here. Oh no. Turn around, please. No, go go to the honey. Go to the honey. The honey is good. It's, it's, it's yummy. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Please leave me alone. There's my strategically placed berry. So you need to get it to turn around. It turns around. I got it. Come on. Please? Please, Snorlax? Yeah. No! Oh no! Alright. Surely it won't follow me out here. Alright. Hmm. 
Come on, just turn around, my dude. I swear this thing is fucking with me. Ignore me, please. Please be chill. And just ignore me. Please, my dude. Come on, Sarlax. Was my last Latin ball. Man. All right, send this thing, send this thing to the shadow realm. Parsing my mellow like that. Oh, cool! He moves! I wonder when Santler becomes weird beer. Oh, yeah. Alright. Okay. Everything's good. Everything is good. Norlax doesn't see me yet. I will get to turn around by throwing a berry. Then you're mine. Come on, my dude. You're hungry. Gotcha! Oh. Oh! I wonder how many heavy balls this one- how many great balls this guy can take. Headshot! That's gotta count for something, right? Counts for less than nothing. Um, no, please turn back around. Hey, there's a mysterious berry. Just, like, go eat it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, heck it. I'm gonna fight the thing. Sandler can do it! Yeah, I know the Sandler can do it! Yes! Yes! Alright. Yes! Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, switch to rapid dash to rapid dash to do damage. Strong style hyper beam. This rules. An attack so powerful it almost killed me. Jesus. Why is it looking at me? It's going to kill me. It's going to eat my bones. Um. Well, let's see. Mastered Calm Mind, I guess that's a thing. Let's keep using Hypnosis and see if that'll get it to skip turns.
Sandler doing a better job of surviving the Rapid Dash. Alright. I think... I think I'm close. It's drowsy. Okay, uh, where are they? Here we go. Oh, great ball. It's drowsy and below half health. That's gotta be close to it. That's gotta be catchable. Nope. Nope. Scyther! Scyther's got it! Uh... Lead with Quick Attack. Doing no damage. And, uh... Follow with Aerial Ace? Okay, that's a little bit of damage. Plum barrel. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, no. Lieutenant Columbarrel's wife, please save me. Surely you will survive. Oh God. Well, I have no Pokemon left. I got my 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 poop kicked in. See, can weird deer jump up here? How do I get up there? It looks like there's actually something for me. If I can get up here. I mean, Sandler put in mad work there. It's just that, uh, turns out that that's probably just not something I'm going to be able to catch for a while. I was really hoping that if I stuck to it and really went for it, that I might be able to make it work. Wait, is this a, is this Alpha Wurmple? That's absolutely al Alpha Wurmple. Oh, oh yes. Oops. Please don't recognize me. I'm not here. A berry. You love berries. They're your favorite. Oh no, I have no Pokemon. Well, now I know where Alpha Wurmple is. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I, I probably should have planned that whole fight a little bit better. I was just hoping that if I threw enough of the balls at it, that I was eventually going to catch it. But I was a fool, and I was wrong. And I paid for it. Oh cool, I got up here. If I remember correctly... I 
if I go all the way over here, there was a wisp. There it is. There's a wisp down here. Huh, I wonder what I get for actually getting these things. And there's gotta be some kind of reward for doing it. Okay, there's gotta be a way back up too, right? Alright, there we go. And if I go all the way to the end, there's one more. So many drip balloons. Oh, let's see. I am lost. Oh, it's over around here. Okay. There it is. One more go, my nemesis. To the last I battle with ye. Shame you can't get me up here, nerd. You only wish you could get you could attack me. Huh? Huh? But you think you're nice. Down there throwing hyper beams. Oh, I'm tempting fate. Oh. Oh no. Um. Well, it doesn't know hyper beam. It can't get me up here, right? Ah! It can't get me! Nerd? If I stand here on the edge, you can't get me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna head back. And let's see, uh, let's go head back, take a rest. Oh, I'm being targeted by Snorlax, so I can't do anything. All right. Take a rest and then go to this new area. See, that's how Snorlax gets you. It looks super cute, and you think it's like, wow, I bet I can take a nap on its tummy. I bet it's very soft and friendly, and it is not. It wants to kill you. Well, I caught a couple things. I guess that's fine. And... Did I rank up? Four new species, six new tasks. Alright, I'm getting close to ranking up. Uh, but I'm gonna go back to the village. Back to the village, and then... Go do the new thing. Go to the new area. And I'll probably be able to get enough... Be able to rank up. At least I'm hoping. Everything else, let's see. Three bats eyes. Let's see. Cricket talk. Okay. I have so many of these. Oh gosh. There it's really cool how they worked all the ecology into this game. This makes me really happy. It's super comfy, everything's really just kind of fun to play around with. I mean, I could I could just sit here and explore for so long. Just running around, trying to do goofy stuff. This really is... This is a dream game for me. 
a Pokemon game that lets you just kind of play in a bunch of different ways and interact with the world. It's it's really nice. Uh, let's see. Move all at once. So move all of this over. Okay, cool beans. And now I can make stuff. Yes, I am going outside the village. All right, let's go to the Meyerlands. I don't know what kind of Pokemon I'm going to fight here. Well, this is not what I thought. I was thinking it would be more volcanic with the whole crimson in its name, but I'm I'm kind of down with the swamp. I'll hang out in the swamp with you. Let's see. Oh, it's teamed with poison Pokemon. Oh, sick. It's the Dark Souls. Love, love the Dark Souls ruins. It's pretty, though. Alright. Are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, you're brave and you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. Alright. I'll keep an eye out for space-time distortions. Oh! <gasps> Ghastly! It's a ghastly! Oh! Oh! Oh, they just tele- oh. Dirks? I guess they just teleport around. Alright, Psyduck I've seen before. I want the Gastlies. Give me the Gastlies! Oh, Stantler's gonna be actually really strong here. I can get some quick levels on it. Oops. Oh, what? What is this? I don't remember this Pokemon. Venus flytrap looking looking thing. Sure, I'll catch ya. You seem cool. Crocodile. That seems like a, a pretty fitting name for that. Ah, it's Gen Four. I see. Oh, yo, get hype. Get hype for Badoo. Well, this place is very different between night and day. Grab these grains because I need them for a uh, for a thing on a blooper for a request. Let's see, Carnivine I've already got. What else is lurking around here? So I see Parasect. Maybe let's go run around here. Oh, a campsite. What's with this? All right, someone was camping. Respect them. Uh... So parasects are more common here. Hmm. Oh! What do you need? A graceful Pokemon. Can do that. Uh, let's see. I'd like to rest until nightfall, so I can go catch some gasolies. 
I'm really loving this. Alright, my Pokemon are rested, they're happy, they're healthy, everything is great. I'm gonna go fight some ghosts. God his ass. Caught it. I'm hoping that works. Got it. Awesome. Already filling out the Pokedex for them. Hi, what's over here? Cricketune? Okay. It's kind of neat. These areas are so... I'm gonna drown, aren't I? Yeah. The areas, like, are so huge! Individually, and then you put them all together, and this is a really, really expansive game. Alright, what do I need to get? See, let's see. Times you stunned it by using items? Alright. Well, I guess I just caught this one. Alright, let's go... Check out the ruins. My guy, what's up here? Dodging is everything. Yes, it is. I don't know who this trainer is, but I love them. I I love your vibe. Just an old lady hanging out with the barrel. Wait. Wait, are you going to teach me how to ride the barrel? She's not wrong. Huh. Even, like, seeing how characters, like, they show up and are like, I don't trust Pokeballs. That seems like witchcraft. Oh, no. Bolo. It must be a family trait. He just wants to fight all the time. All right, kid, I'll crack your egg. Go, Lieutenant Columbo's wife! All right. Freeze this tiny egg creature. I love the sound design here. How they're actually allowing the there's like an echo in in the ruins when you're hanging out. All right, cook this egg. Unfortunately, I gotta send this thing to the Shadow Realm. See you later when you're a Garchomp. <laughs> His eyeliner is so good. It's not fair. Why is he so pretty?
Wait, someone stole one of the fragments? All right, I guess I gotta do this. Oh, it's a fragment of an engraving. Oh, okay. All right, I guess I have to go do some detective work. Me and this weird deer. Now uh, let's not fall into the lake. That would be a bummer. smile is so good, his eyeliner is flawless. Not fair. Do they even have mirrors, guy? How did you do that? I love them! Okay, what, what's the deal? What's, what's your gimmick? Coin cl oh god. The Misfortune Sisters, alright. What? They're gonna poison me? Barrel survived barely. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm thinking, um, the Santler. Oh, there's a wisp over there, too. Oh, come on. They're just staring at each other menacingly. There you go. There you go, Stantler. All right, so, all right, what's next? Do I have to fight all of you in a row? Or was just one of you? Just one of you? They had one Pokemon between them? Oh, come on. Oh, poor, poor kids. I like them. I like them a lot. They got a good vibe. Being uh, the goofy comic relief villains that will probably come through in the end and help you out with something. But in the meantime, have a, a bone to pick with the way that the current social or order is working out with Team Galaxy. I'm here for them. Alright, gotta... Gotta find some way to be able to swim first. There's probably another mount that I'll get at some point, and then I can go and get that one. Alright, I got the wall fragment. Let's uh let's head back, weird deer. It is interesting. So we have like the galaxy team, or the galaxy like 
your group, your faction, but this whole layout where it's like you've got you got the Galaxy Survey Corps, which are basically cops. You're Pokemon cops. She's right. She's correct. She trusts nobody but T the Pearl Clan and her B-Barrel. Not even the Pearl Clan, only B-Barrel. And you know what? I respect that. She's got a big vine <laughs> in her backpack and a B-Barrel by her side. I wish I could grow up to be this cool. All right, so what does this get me to get? All right, oh, it's a bunch of unknown. Haha, -ha, it's a reference. All lives touch other lives to create something new and alive. I see. It means people need to help each other and all cops are, well, you know. All right, let's uh, let's go call him another noble, ancient and noble Pokemon. That just seems to be the only thing I'm good for anymore. Oh, Carnivine is... Oh, cool. It's an aggressive species. All right. Which, uh, they're both gonna go. Uh, use Flame Wheel. I'm hoping that's not gonna hurt too much. Okay. That might hurt a little bit more. Yeah. Let's catch this. Get in the Pokeball. It's nice and comfy in there. Awesome. I love the little firework. There's so many just really nice touches in this game that make everything feel really satisfying. The sound design is great. Like the little echo and reverb they have when you go into the ruins there, that's a very nice touch. Oh, I wonder what's over here. Can I get up here? Maybe this seems like it's not intended, but I'm going to do it anyway. This game has been pretty good for this so far. And like, if it makes me feel like I'm breaking rules or I'm not supposed to get up into certain areas, but then I do and I feel really cool about it. Oh, there's a gold bat. please? Oh, it flew away. Huh. All right. All right. I see you, Lickitung. Gotcha. No, don't gotcha. There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> Left me a ball of mud. Thank you very much. Alright, what's gonna be hiding out in here? Oh, here's a second form! Bernie! Oh, uh, let's see. Give it. Give it the old tackle. Let's try not to kill it, actually. Alright, cool beans. Items. Uh, let's let's see. Yeah, let's give it a bug. Let's give it a little. Let's give it a. Let's give it a Pokeball. Yay! 
Hey! Does Burmy have multiple forms? Or did I just catch a shiny? Ooh, Skatank! There's some stuff going on down there. I... I do- I do want the poop- I- Ooh, Onyx! Let's get down there. How tough can they possibly be? I love that they just make fart noises! Yes! Yeah, I want to say it's one of the multiple form Pokemon. Alright. Got you, fart monster. Oh, okay, Onyx is an angry boy. Oh, I'm definitely not supposed to be here yet. I am ab I absolutely sequence broke something. All right, <laughs> let's take it. That's really cute. And also like really sick that the game has stuff like that. All right, I'm gonna... Okay, that's actually very sad. It makes its its home out of trash. Awesome. Well, now I have an Onyx. Touching Pokemon I am not supposed to have. Did Onyx like instantly respawn? And now I have two Onyx. All right. And the Hippopolotopolopus. Oh, you mean, you mean this space-time storm? It's fine. It's always been there. This arrow, oh, Alpha Skatank. It's got the stinkiest farts! I need to get the Ass Master. Oh, Krogunk? Ah, shit. Krogunk's gonna make my life hard, isn't it? Come on, turn around. Turn around. Yeah, that's what you need to do. How mysterious that you just ended up in a Pokeball. I can't believe that happened to you. How weird. You should turn around again, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does it? It seems like it doesn't... Oh, oh no. Damn it, Kroagunk. Oh, by all means, ruin the <laughs> ruin the chat with the cursed knowledge. But so does lock on improve your your chances of catching stuff? I thought it just with, when you locked on or focus on things, it just allowed you to zoom in a little bit and maybe check the Pokedex entry for them. Oh, how about that? All right, I'm gonna I will try the lock on. Oh, I see what you mean. I never noticed- thank you, Rain, I never noticed that before. You can tell I I'm very good at video games. Oh no, Skatank, Skatank! Don't, don't. Okay, yeah, good, keep doing that. Wow, you weren't kidding! 
That like almost actually worked. Oh. Oh no. Uh So green is the best chance. So that's all right. So I'm going to have to throw a berry out there. All right, then let's if, if you exercise your judgment. Let's throw a berry over here. So that's that's also a huge part of berries then. Because it gets them to turn around. So you can turn around and lock on while they launch. Please? Ah, close. Getting close. Nope, just ignore me. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. You were supposed to ignore me! I can definitely catch this Pokemon. I'm going to catch it. I believe in me. So much confidence here. All right, turn around. Go back. Go back. Go back. My God! Just leave me alone. Oh God, Onyx. Is it always one of these two? At least this guy's cool. A fan of you. There's got to be a way to catch this thing. It can't be that good. It can't be that strong. Yes. I'm gonna have to come back. In the meantime, though, I do want to go get the multiple forums of Hippotops because that was one of the requests that someone made for me. Of course, there's just a Geodude hanging out, too. Oh, Graveler? Okay. And... Oh, cool. 
Oh, Tingala. A space time distortion is forming. I wonder where that is. Oh, the music even changes. Oh, cool! Sorry, I'm geeking a little bit because I guess it's, that's the big rainbow thing over here. All right, I'm ignoring you. Uh, ignoring you was a mistake. Ignoring the Gravelers, too, because they are nerds. How do I get over there? Oh, there's a Toby Kiss! Can I cure Psyduck's headache? Uh, sure. I'll give it a shot. I think I saw a Rhyhorn down here, too. I don't think I have what it takes to get over there right now. Oh, this is Alpha Onyx. Okay, cool. Normal Onyx didn't heck me up bad enough. I haven't learned my lesson yet. This one might actually be doable. If I can get the jump on it and catch it unaware. Yeah, I got it. Attacks were, success were better against this guy. Oh, that's right. Charmander sucked against the first gym. Which means the only Pokemon I have that has an effect, a super effective attack, is Lieutenant Columbo's wife. All right, let's go. This does not bode well. Let's battle some other time. I'm out of here. Bye! Oh, there is a Rhyhorn over there. I do want it. I'm gonna make a go for it. Awesome. I now have a Rhyhorn. This game does a lot more to make you feel like you're kidnapping a Pokemon from its family. I basically feel like the villain. Oop. That's an angry Pokemon. Back to the Scarlet Bog. Why is everything why does everything just want to hurt me? Hippotas. Oh, you're very large. Oh, 
I'll give it that. I would agree with it. Let's see. I'm assuming that means it's just, like, not gonna work straight up. Wait, why? Huh? Do you have anything that would be super effective? Uh, nope. Okay, rapid dash, go. Rapid dash too big cannot be rendered on the screen. changes are really nice like there's they've done or at least taken some steps it seems to like work within the graphical limitations of the switch and i think the end result is actually really nice and i can get how if people were looking for a more like I guess graphically intense game, this might be a disappointment, but I was looking for a game where I get to be best friends with Pokemon, and that's that's what I feel like I'm getting. I mean, the areas are huge, there's a fun variety, it seems that there's a lot of- a mix of things that I haven't seen before, things that I have seen before. I'm having a really great time. This is like, um, it feels a little bit like... What was the thing from Sword and Shield? There was like the wild zone that you could go into, and you could just walk around and fight Pokémon. Oh. Sometimes you just wander into death. Oh, what's this? Like the, there was an area in Sword and Shield where you would just walk around and fight wild Pokemon, and I feel like this is sort of the the logical extension of that idea, where you can see Pokemon, you can just fight them as you want, you can pick and choose your battles, you can approach things differently, depending on what feels good to you at the time and what Pokemon you have available, and just everything really clicks really well. Alright, dude, what's up? I would appreciate a base camp. Go set up the bog base camp. You know, the one that's set up right by this... Oh no, there's some... Ah, oh, this is funny. This is what I have to do to get a base camp. I have to scare away these Skatanks. Uh, let's see. I'll drive them off. I love them. I just, I love all the goofy, weird Pokemon. And Skatank is really high on that list of just absolute goofballs. Oh no, Columbarrel. Columbarrel, Columbarrel, you can do it! I'm sick of these guys. This is actually a surprising challenge. Deserving of sending this this poor this poor child to the to the Shadow Realm.
This one too. Use Hyper Beam. My horse sounds like a Roby. Awesome. New base camp. What were you do? Where, where were you, my guy? Oh no, there's something stuck to me? Oh, it's an unknown! Oh, your, mis your mysterious phone is reacting to these? Remember your Pokedex to jump to the unknown research and by deciphering the cryptic symbols found in these notes, you can find all the unknown hiding throughout the region. Uh, let's see. They were, they, let's see. You'll be able to battle them, but track them down and catch them all if you can. Okay. All right. Let's report these findings. Get a bunch of money. And... Finished Burmy and got a bunch of other new stuff. Cool beans. All right. I'm gonna go return to my visual, return to the village, hand these in, and then uh, probably call it a night. And I think I'll be back tomorrow around the same time with a little bit more Pokemon Legends because I, I just think this game is really charming. Oh wait, she had a request. A male Hippotas. I just caught one, right? Yep, I can do this request too. And she'd like to see a female Hippotas. They're different! I invented gender. Awesome! I got new clothes. That's, that's the real reason to do anything. So what do we have now? Got headbands, okay. Headband, headband. Oh, new handkerchiefs. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Got the festive tops. Oh, they get a deer komodo. Ah, so as you you finish stuff, you, you get new stuff. You get um as you beat bosses who unlock New patterns and stuff. Kind of cool. Oh, you can do Ska. Okay, that's cool. Is, is there a, just a black and white checker? No, of course not. You can be Ryu. Why not? Oh! <gasps> get tinted glasses now. Ah, cool beans! I'm wondering what kind of fashions you're gonna end up with toward the end of this game. I mean, it's always the most exciting thing for me since they incorporated dress up in any of the Pokemon games, is unlocking new dress up stuff. It's the real end game. Alright, give me my promotion. You earned yourself a star, and now I'm a four-star trainer. Okay. Awesome. Hyper potions and leaden balls. Awesome. All right, dude, keep, teach me your ways. 
Teach me to Maria Kondo my bag. There's one other thing I do want to check out before I call it a night. So if you go over to the training area, there's... She tells you that she you can master moves if you bring her a... What did you call it? If you bring her a mastery seed. And I got one of them when I caught an alpha Pokemon earlier. When I caught one of those alpha Bidoofs. Okay, so I need to get more of those, but if I want to master... What is that? If I say I want you to... I want... Oh, it's, that's how you can... So you can just kind of skip the process and master a move. So for example, uh, let's see. Weird Deer. Let's see. What? Come on. You can't help with anything? What can Weird Deer learn? Oh, it's got some... Interesting... It can learn Energy Ball? Alright. Okay. It's always weird to me, just like, when I look at these and see, like, how big some Pokémon's type coverage gets. Like, Cologne Barrel can, like, can just learn Rocks, it can Fighting Types, Electric Type moves, Steel Type moves, Electric, Ghost. Basically learns anything and everything you could want it to. For some reason, Rapidash can learn Poison Jab. Like, all right. I love my murder horse. Yeah. It's just, it's still interesting to me. Just like, Bidoof of all, of all Pokemon just has such a wild array of attacks that it can learn. And it's just kind of goofy. I'm like, oh yeah, it can learn. It can learn Charge Beam. It can learn all this stuff. I'm like, all right, solid, solid. I know. This is my big horse. This is my murder horse. It's been carrying me through the whole game. All right. Well, I'm gonna call it here for tonight. Um, I'm gonna go send you all over to Mick. Uh, it looks like yeah, Beat of is the is utility support. Yeah, the horse's head is bigger than I am. All right, I'm gonna send it over to Mick. Uh, looks like, wait, wait. Okay, Mick is gaming with a VTuber brother. Mick is my VTuber sibling. Shit, I have more siblings. I guess I need to do <laughs> to see what this is about. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. I'll be playing more of this tomorrow evening, and uh, I hope you uh, have a good evening. Thanks for hanging out. Outro!